Hey y'all, so I just got done practicing my poses. I went earlier to get my tan, register for the competition and do the athletes meeting and I am so tired. Like, I, well, this is my tan, which looks really good. Like I was so afraid of getting a tan because I'm like, mm, black woman, I'm already tan. What's this gonna look like? But so far, this is the first coat and it looks really nice. You can see my arms really nicely. Like the muscles are popping, which makes me very happy. Um, but um, I wanted to record tomorrow at the venue but i guess now they have this new law where you can't record at the venues anymore you can't record anywhere not even like the um locker room so i guess i'm just gonna give you guys a recap of everything that happens but i'm really excited um i can't believe it's been 16 weeks since i started this journey it's it's great well 17 weeks this week but it's so crazy honestly like what I've put my body through and what I've been through mentally, I never imagined that I could do this. And this has been a goal of mine for the past five years. Every year I'd put it on my vision board and every year I'd find an excuse not to do it. And I don't know what about this year, but I just like, something just switched and I was like, you know what, just do it. Like, I didn't even think the whole way through. I just thought in steps like, okay, what am I doing now? What do I have to do now? What do I have to do now? I never thought long-term because I know that if I think long-term, I'm just gonna stress myself out. And I'm not nervous, I'm excited. Like it's one of those feelings of, you know when like you've wanted something for so long and it's finally here and you just wanna kind of bask in it and just enjoy the ride. That's just kind of been what the process has been like for me today. Just it's been really surreal, even sitting in the athletes meeting and I kept thinking like, oh my gosh, I am here. I finally did it, like I accomplished this goal and tomorrow I'm just gonna, enjoy it maybe it's a good thing that i can't record i'm just gonna enjoy it and just make memories you know um what else okay so for the category that i'm doing i'm doing bikini and the two subcategories that i'm doing is bikini true novice which is basically your first uh, your first time on stage and my height class which is b so i'm five four the guy said I'm 5'4". I am not 5'4". I'm 5'5". Five five. But whatever. I'm still in category B. So I'm excited about that. Um, I have one last meal to eat. Oh gosh. I know I'm all over the place. But I'm so excited. Tomorrow I get to eat carbs. Like for breakfast I get a peanut butter and banana sandwich on white bread. Which for some people they'll probably be like what? But for someone who has had no carbs besides asparagus for the past week. I'm happy. And then uh, before I go to before i step on stage in the morning and in the afternoon i get to have a muffin and she said get the carbiest fattest sugariest muffin so yes i'm about to get into it so and yeah and then after that for lunch i get to have a grilled chicken breast and um french fries with no added salt but i can have ketchup so basically i'm doing my cheat meals already like i'm gonna be lit i'm gonna be happy i'm gonna be on stage just dancing around because i get to eat i'm so ecstatic um yeah so what else so tonight i'm just gonna do a trial of my makeup i'm going to paint my nails and my feet um and that's about it i'm gonna have my last meal and then i'm just gonna pass out like i already took my daughter to my mom's just because with all of this, I kind of just want to only have to worry about myself. I don't want to have to worry about another individual. Plus, with my tan, I can't really do much with her. I can't bathe her because she splashes. And I don't want to, like, carry her because then this will transfer on her. Or she might mark me up with her hand. So, she'll be at mom's until after the competition. And it's good. It's just, I want to be able to be just only focused on this event. So, it's a good thing that Maya is at my mom's house. But... I'm gonna stop blabbing like I'm recording this so that I could have the memories but I don't want it to be too boring um, I will just talk to you guys in the morning and then I guess I'll show you what my tan looks like after I wash it off so bye all right guys again sorry about the lighting I just came back from Tim Hortons got my little coffee it's black but it's coffee so and I'm gonna sip it slow because the thing is, um, I'm only allowed a liter of water today, 
and that well not a leader today but a leader in the morning and a leader at night and that counts as my leader <laughs> in my leader so I can only have one bottle of water and one of that so I'll sip that slow and then I'll sip my water backstage just because I don't think I want to take the coffee with me but here's my little peanut butter and banana sandwich in my daughter's plate because I miss her um, my banana isn't really yellow it's more brown because people ask you to buy them bananas and then they leave them in the house to go bad but it's a peanut butter and banana sandwich nonetheless it's on bread which I haven't had in months so I'm going to enjoy this and I'll see you guys in a bit Hey guys, so it's currently about 7.30. I have done my eye makeup and my hair. I just need to fix the closure. Oh, I need to probably just shave that off or maybe not. I don't know yet. Anyways, but I specifically did my eye makeup and my hair before I left just because I don't want to finish my makeup because I still have to get my second coat of tan so that way I can make sure that my face matches my body nicely. And my eyes are always the hardest for me to do so that's why i just wanted to do it before i left so that i wasn't stressed at the venue trying to do it especially like being intimidated by all the other girls being there so my eyes are done lashes are on i just will need to touch up the lid a bit because it's starting to crease which when you have um mono lids like me you understand the struggle and i even said it before i did my eye makeup so anyways i'm just gonna have to refresh that do my inner tear duct and then do my face makeup and i think i should be done i think it looks really nice even without foundation on yet um, my hair is done i decided to keep it straight just because it looks better that way and then i'll just keep these pieces tucked behind my ear so that they can see the cheekbones and everything like that so i really like the way everything came out um i don't know if i don't have the window open so the lighting might be ugh, might be off a bit but you guys will see at the venue and um I took my shower, I washed the tan off, I tried my suit on for the last time. It looks really nice. Of course, the boobies, I still have to do a little bit of adjustment, but I feel comfortable about everything. Um, I packed my bag already, so this bag has all my essentials, my suit, my number, my uh, snacks, my robe. I have on my clothes right now that I'm going to the venue in. I said my shoes already, my makeup so that I can finish up my makeup just double check and uh, just a sewing kit just in case um, yeah I think I have everything I made sure to bring everything and I'm leaving early enough so that if I do forget anything I can come back home but um, my 10 is at 8.30, which means I'll probably be done at 9. Uh, the show starts at 10. So I'm going to make sure that I have my makeup and hair and everything done, suit on and stuff by 9.30, just in case. If there's anything that I'm missing, I live 30 minutes away. So I can hop home, get what I need, and then go back to the venue. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm really excited. I'm not nervous, thank God. We'll see when I get to the venue. But I, I like this vibe that i have going on i'm really proud of myself my coach was like oh you can also have a glass of wine before Ooh, cheekbones y'all who needs makeup i might not even need to contour that much to be honest but anyways um coach was like oh you can have a glass of wine before pre-judging and before finals but i'm like eh, i don't really need it like i hope i don't need it um i just want to be in the moment if that makes sense plus i've gone so long without alcohol i'm just like no point we'll see if that changes there is an alcohol store right across the street so i might just pop over and buy one of those mini wine bottles but yeah i'm gonna stop rambling and i will see you guys when i get to the venue of course i can't record but i'll keep you guys up to date on everything that's going on so bye hey y'all so i hope i'm in focus um so i already got my second coat of tan so it does not look bad although i find that maybe you guys can't see it this arm is darker than this arm oh the lighting you probably can't see it that well but yeah you can but i mean that's kind of how i can't even blame the the um spray person because i drive so i always find this side of my body is always darker than that side anyways because this side gets tan whereas this side doesn't really but anyway everything looks good i'm in the shade so you can't really see it that well but I'll try to show it to you guys later or I'll insert clips whatever anyways so sorry I thought I was like 
staining my clothes uh so i got my tan um the tanning artist who was doing it she was so sweet i find all of them they're so pretty and they're like really really nice i thought they were gonna be stuck up but she was really nice silly like she was making conversation which made me feel so much better like i'm not even nervous like i'm excited but i'm not even nervous like and i feel like she helped that like um when i was getting my spray done she's like did you do your makeup and i was like yeah like i just did the eyes but i'm waiting after the tan to match the foundation to my skin and she's like it looks really pretty like she's like believe me i would tell you if it looked crazy and i was like thank you like please tell me like if it looks crazy like don't be afraid to tell me the truth and she's like yeah like your makeup looks very beautiful and then she's like oh what color is your uh suit and i was like oh it's like an emerald green and she's like yeah that's the perfect suit for you like that will really pop on your skin and on stage and i was like it really made me feel good especially like being so intimidated by all the other girls that are there like just knowing that um someone appreciates it and then like it's just the small details like even like the other 10 lady when she was calling me to get dry and she's like she's like come on pretty girl and i was just like mm, girl <laughs> i guess i am pretty yes i am but it was like really cool just to get recognition i guess and especially like i am the only black woman there like there are other brown people and minorities but i'm the only black person so i i was a bit nervous about that because i was like okay well like clearly i'm the oddball out like i'm the sore thumb and that could either work for me or work against me because maybe they might have a specific look that they're going for but i'm gonna go out there i'm gonna give it my all i'm gonna rock out and i'm just gonna be proud of the package that i brought because i worked too damn hard so yeah um i'm now just the camera um let me put up these windows the camera turned off so my memory whatever anyways um where was i yeah so i got some rice cakes i'm just at the store right now going to get some rings because that's the only jewelry i'm missing so i'm gonna see if the store has some rings and then i'm going back first thing i'm gonna do is put on my suit and everything just to make sure i have all my stuff and then i'll finish my face and oh earlier i said i had mono lids i meant to say hooded lids so my eyelids crease and like well they crease bad so if i put some makeup on my eyes you can't really see it that well and the lighting is just horrible y'all i'm so sorry so yeah so i have to touch up my eyeshadow um what else that's pretty much it so i'm gonna put on my outfit put on, finish up my makeup and just wait for showtime i'm just gonna chill listen to some music vibe out until it's time to go on and then afterwards i'm going to grab some lunch and then stop at the house because it's close to the venue i'm gonna stop at my mom's to see maya because i miss my baby and that's pretty much it i after the camera had turned off i lost my train of thought so i'm not really hungry i have my muffin still to eat i am filling out nicely which i'm very happy about um i'm gonna send my coach some pictures and see what she says like if i should just stay with the muffin or sh should i add more carbs although i don't think i need to add more um and the rice cakes, I'm not that hungry to be honest. I just bought them just in case because I'd rather not be stuck without anything. But I am going to try to keep my stomach as empty as possible because, you know, you have to suck it in, in on stage. Um, I'm just going to eat my muffin an hour before I go on, 45 minutes before I go on, depending on how fast they move. And yeah, I did tell you guys that my two categories is true novice and then my height class, which is five. I think it's B. 5'4 and over the guy told me I'm 5'4 and like I said I've never been 5'4 in my life well I have but <laughs> I thought I was 5'5 five, 5'6 five, five, on a good day so yeah we'll see about that but anyways uh oh I have to fix this white stuff up here hopefully I can um cover it with some makeup because I had glued down the wig so that it could stay in place but we're gonna have to do some surgery just to make sure that we don't go on stage looking crazy I'm really trying to figure out if there's anything else I need to say to you guys um so far everything's been going great the venue's great I haven't spoken to many people besides the girls that were in my posing class and yeah that's it so i'll talk to you guys in a bit bye what's up you guys so i just got done with the competition well the pre-judging and it went well i am very proud of myself for actually stepping on the stage because many times i did not want to step on that stage i kept thinking girl just turn around turn around but the good thing is i wasn't so nervous i really thought i was going to be shaking all over the place and stuff and i really wasn't like i kept my composure which makes me so happy um yeah so i didn't get 
what I like first call outs like I wanted to I got second call outs for true novice and second call outs for bikini and we had really big classes for true novice we had 24 women and for uh, bikini B my height class we had 12 women so I got second call outs center stage which makes me really happy and um, yeah I just I don't know if I want to continue competing well I don't really think I do like I did this competition as a goal for myself just to because it's something I've always wanted to do so get that off my bucket list which I did um, I do know what I could have worked on like I understand why the other girls got first call outs because their developments like their glute ham developments were a lot more petite than mine like I have really big quads and really big legs like that's my strong suit and the thing is bikini competitions aren't so much about the size of your quads and your and your hamstrings and glutes as much as it is it's everything is supposed to be in a nice little package and it's so true because everyone keeps talking about oh um stage lean stage lean stage lean and I'm like I thought I was stage lean like I'm at 128 I thought well and I'm 5'5 five, 5'4 five, five, he said I was 5'4 anyways I but I guess I'm not stage lean for my height and I now understand it because when I was looking at my glutes because when you do your back pose you could see your glutes in the in the prompter thing the you, you guys know what I'm talking about the projector so comparing my glutes to other girls like that I saw go on before me I saw how theirs were like basically their butt is like this and then like their quads are like this whereas like my butt is like this and then my quads are like that so I definitely understand uh, not my quads my hamstrings sorry but I definitely understand why they placed the way that they did because they do have the typical bikini body and mine leans leads more towards figure so I pretty I probably do really well for figure modeling because I do have the physique for it which I thought already to start but I just decided okay let me do bikini because figure takes a lot more work but looking back based on my body type it probably wouldn't have been that much more work I feel like I spent more energy trying to get my body down to what a bikini model is but yeah I enjoyed the process nonetheless I think it was really fun would I do it again I'm not sure if I did I'd probably do figure hmm Gemma is that a goal either way anyways so I just got my food I got chicken breast and fries as my coach uh, prescribed and then I have to when I'm going back I'll get a muffin to eat before I hit the stage although there's no point like with second call outs you don't qualify for anything so I'll just go back on stage just because we have to do the whole thing but I'm very proud of myself you guys like I I was beating myself up because I'm a very competitive person like I only compete to win that's just always been my mentality and growing up that's what I've been taught but sometimes step like I just realized that stepping on the stage was a win in itself especially because I'm such a nervous person and this is so beyond my comfort zone so just me doing that was a win and it's just a learning lesson I, at first I was gonna be like oh no I'm not gonna because like um, they give you while well, they sell you for 50 bucks uh, taping of what the coach thought about your um, had the judge thought about your presentation and what you could change and blah 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 I wasn't gonna buy it but I am gonna buy it just because I'm curious to see what I could work on and what needs to be tweaked so I will purchase that and I'll let you guys know what happens but anyways I'm gonna go inside see my baby and eat and then I'll talk to you guys in a bit bye hey guys so I first want to apologize about the lighting I'm trying to get this video done for you guys before the Sun goes down but it's gonna happen anyways but this is just gonna be a quick outro to the video I kind of just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a follow-up from when we spoke last which was the night of the competition on Saturday so first things first we got the results back on the scoring and for true novice I placed 14 out of 24 which is eh. and for my hype class I placed six out of 11 which kind of just like oh it was annoying because 
my hope was to be top five so knowing that I missed it by this much like it kind of is a bit annoying because I am a very competitive person um what else I'm still on the fence about competing again this year there is a competition on the 27th of July and my friend wanted to go well my friend wanted to go compete and she wants me to come and do it as well because because she was basically like, we already paid for the membership. It's good for a year. Might as well do another competition. And a few other people have told me, you might as well do it. Because you're already in condition. You just need to tweak a few things. You might as well. And I think it's true. Especially because I basically am giving myself until two weeks before the competition to make a decision based on where I'm at. I do know some of the things that I need to change. And I am working on them. I definitely know that I have to grow my glutes and sculpt them better. So, um... I did two leg days already and that's the funny thing I really didn't rest at all besides well the competition was Saturday and Sunday Monday I was back in the gym so I worked out Monday Tuesday rested Wednesday worked out today Thursday um, so I'm gonna work on all that and if it's at the point that I'm happy with it in time for the competition then I'll go ahead and do it my weight so I weighed myself on Monday and I was about 140 excuse me and then I weighed myself today and I'm at 136 which is good because the day of my competition I think I was about 128 128 129 so I guess I gained like 11 pounds with the four day follow-up which makes sense because the water is back in my system and everything like that plus I was eating a lot more than I was used to so my metabolism was probably in shock and couldn't keep up but now like everything seems to be going back to what it was which makes me happy i do want to be at like a consistent 130 that way that i know that closer to the competition i can be at the 125 leanness that i want to be at 125 maybe lower depending on how much muscle i grow um what else I did ask the judges for feedback they do offer a feedback video although it costs $50 but I was like you know what if I'm gonna compete again I want to know what the feedback was especially because a lot of their judging didn't make sense to me which I know everyone tells me that's how competitions are they sometimes they make sense sometimes you don't know why they picked the people that they did or what so I just kind of want to know where I was or what I didn't impress them with I definitely am going to take my bikini in a bit I told you guys the whole situation about how the bikini um, they asked for modest but most of the girls I saw were wearing more of the like IFBB pro competition cuts and stuff so I will be taking mine in a little bit just because it was a bit loose anyways at the competition and I did not like that um, but that's pretty much all I'm gonna change still gonna do my makeup the same way I think although I well no I kind of want to do natural a more natural look so I don't want to be all glam because I do realize that I have such a strong face already so less is more in a sense like I found that the makeup kind of made me look a bit more mature uh, so I'm just gonna do more of a fresh pretty glam and try not to contour so much because my face is already so slim but that's pretty much it. I will do a follow, a few follow up videos about how my prep is going and stuff. I will do a video about the things that I learned about bikini competitions through going through the process for myself as well as doing a video for um, tanning for dark skinned individuals because I could not find any videos on that when I was looking to find out if I should tan, if I shouldn't, how many layers I should do, what to look out for. So I'm going to do a video on that as well. and yeah that's pretty much it thank you guys for coming along for that journey and i hope that you will stick around for many more journeys and many more videos and i definitely think this will be a new expensive hobby so i'll see you guys later bye